Hello, I am your host, and we will be traveling across the world shortly. We will use travel guides, which will tell us where to go, where to stay, and what to see. All sightseeings, castles and palaces, cathedral and churches, towns and villages, mountains and valleys, flora and fauna, lakes and rivers. Let us find out all in this episode of Best Travel Destinations. In this episode, we will. Stroll, the lively beaches. Witness, vibrant culture, and historical places. Experience, Jewish heritage. See, unspoiled, natural beauty of forest. Hike, lush green mountains. Taste, delicious cuisine while, collecting, treasure of lovely. Poland. Warsaw, Poland's capital city, not often included, on tourist itineraries, deserves, a fresh look. While, it may not be a place, you'll fall in love, with instantly, there's an energetic spirit, of rebirth here, that's immediately contagious. To understand this city, a visit to the Warsaw Uprising Museum, is a must. Other most important sightseeings, are, the Old Town, the Royal Route, and the sprawling, Lazy in Key Park. Warsaw, is cut in two, by the Vistula River, but nearly, all the interesting things to see, do lie on the river's, western side. Warsaw, is a large city, so plan, your exploration to utilize, trams, or taxis, to move between areas. The beautiful Brock, and Renaissance-style burgers houses, of the old town, would be remarkable. Krakow, suffered, the usual ups and downs, related to religious strife, wars, natural disasters, plagues, and the occasional raid, from Mongol hordes, coming from the east. Krakow, had traditionally been viewed, as a haven for Jews, ever since the 14th century, when King Kazimierz, first opened Poland, to Jewish settlement. Krakow's architecture, luckily escaped major destruction, at the end of the war. Krakow's charms, 
our multidimensional. In addition to the beautifully restored, old town, complete with its fairy tale castle, there is the former Jewish quarter, of Kazim Yesh. If you've seen, Steven Spielberg's Oscar-winning movie, Schindler's List, you'll recognize, some of the film locations, as you walk around Kazim Yesh. Krakow's, old town, is relatively compact, and comprised of the main square, Rynek Glowony, and the streets. Most of the main tourist sites, are situated within, a 10 or 15 minute walk, from the square. The Tatra National Park, is located in southern Poland, in the Malopolska province, and borders on the Slovakian Tatra National Park. Both of these unique areas, were listed as UNESCO, Biosphere Reserves, in 1993. One of the main tourist attractions, in the Tatra Mountains, is the Cable Railway, on Kasprawi Wiech. Located at the foothills, off the Tatra Mountains, Zakopane, offers a wide range, of accommodation facilities, and an impressive, skiing infrastructure. Zakopane, Poland's leading mountain resort, is absolutely mobbed, during the winter ski season. So plan preparations in advance, if you're coming from late December, through March. The summer hiking season, is also busy, especially in August, when the town hosts, an annual folklore festival. The best time to come, to have the mountains to yourself, is in May, or October. The air can be chilly, but the paths, are blissfully free, of tour groups. Rocklaw, the capital of Lower Silesia, is a surprisingly, likeable big city. The heart of the city, is a beautifully restored, central square, the Rhineck, and the playfully colourful Brock and Renaissance houses, that line the square, on all sides. Rocklaw, was founded, 
some 1,000 years ago by Slavs, but its population had become increasingly Germanized through the centuries. Until the end of World War II, Rocklaw was known as the German city of Breslau. Most of the main sites are located in the compact center around the enormous main square, the Rheineck. The main attractions can be seen in a few hours of leisurely strolling. The natural place to start is the enormous central square, the Rheineck, dominated by the town hall, the Rathaus, in the middle. Gothic red brick, St. Elizabeth Church, is Rocklaw's most impressive building. You can climb the tower, but keep in mind, that it's over 90 meters high, and is pretty strenuous. Via Louisa, two kilometers from the Belarusian border, is synonymous with the European bison. The Via Louisa forest used to be the hunting grounds of Polish kings, Lithuanian princes, and Russian czars. Hunted to near extinction by soldiers during World War II, the European bison has made a comeback in the sanctuary of the Via Louisa National Park. Though the park covers a modest 105 square kilometer, it is one of Europe's last remaining parcels of primeval forest. Since 1979, it has been on the UNESCO list of World Natural Heritage Sites. In addition to bison, the park shelters populations of deer, lynx, black storks, beaver, and wolf, as well as hundreds of species of birds and a staggering variety of trees, fungi, mushroom, and insects. Poznan, the capital of Wielka Polska, a fortified settlement, has been located here as far back as the 9th century. It was a key settlement of the Piast dynasty, which ruled Poland from the 10th to the 14th centuries. Although much of it and the city proper were destroyed in World War II, many of the buildings you see today are faithful reconstructions of the originals. Poznan's prosperity is evident in the sheer size of the square, and in the many handsome buildings. The old market square has been the city's cultural and commercial center for centuries.
Gdansk is a sensory blast. If you were expecting a dingy Baltic seaport, reinforced by that foggy, black and white, TV footage of Letralisa and the embattled, Solidarity dock workers, you are here, for a pleasant surprise. Modern day Gdansk is a beautiful seaside town, with a lovingly, restored old city. At the center of its main town, reconstructed after World War II, are the colorful facades, off Long Market, now home to shops, and restaurants. Nearby, is Neptune Fountain, a 17th century symbol of the city, topped by a bronze statue, of the sea god. Zesta Chower, the south-central city, provides an unremarkable setting, the Jasnaguru Monastery, one of the country's leading attractions, for devout Catholics. For Catholics, Zesta Chower, occupies a rung on par, with Lord in France, and just below, the Vatican itself. Every year, millions of pilgrims, come here to see, miraculous painting, of a lady, an icon of Mary holding, the infant Jesus. Nevertheless, the town center is a pleasant enough place to pass the time with plenty of cafes and a number of surprisingly good restaurants. The Mazurian Lake District is a vast expanse of interconnected waterways 
that lie to the northeast of Warsaw. Lakes Nyadwy, Mamre, and Negasin are famed for sailing, while Krutinia River has one of the most scenic, lowland, kayaking routes in Poland. Jezico and Mikolaj Key, only 35 km apart, are the common entry points to the Mazurian Lake District. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel for latest updates. Let us know if you want us to bring any further research or information on any topic.